hard work. Blueprints. The power tools. I wouldn't be able to do it. It's working with your hands. It takes a lot of work, a lot of math. Tough labor. Bags and bricks. Pretty hard work. You have to be strong. Not a job for a girly girl. Landscaping. Contractors make a lot of money. A lot of hard work. Dirty. It's real hard work. So, it's not fun. I know it was constructed in 1897. Yeah, it's actually the oldest and largest higher education facility in San Diego. Wow, the architecture is pretty cool. Yeah, I wonder how long it took to construct it. I don't know, but it's constructed pretty well. Who are, are you? you? Hi guys, I'm the ghost of construction present, and I'm one of two ghosts that you guys will be meeting today. You guys seem really interested in the construction industry, so today I'm going to take you through the world of construction. And Tom Lemon is one of the first guys that you'll be meeting. My name is Tom Lemon. I'm the business manager of the San Diego Building and Construction Trades Council, representing 35,000 union construction workers in San Diego. In the construction industry, there's a huge difference between a job and a career, and we, we, we don't like to talk about just jobs. We like to talk about careers because that's, that's what you end up with. When you get the proper training and, and uh, the support of the union behind you, you've got, a, you've got uh, a way to earn a living for an entire lifetime. Tony and Abby, they have some questions for you. Let's meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you tell us like a little bit about what you do? Iron workers put up buildings and bridges. They also can do the glass skin of a building, welding, just about anything that has to do with steel. What's the best way to get the training in your field? To be an iron worker, you start out, you go to the union hall, talk to the apprentice coordinator. You have to be interviewed. Um, they want to make sure that you know you want to do the job. You go through a four-year apprenticeship, uh, you work for different contractors, you try and get experience in you know, as many aspects of the trade as you can, and after that, uh, you take your journeyman test, which is like a 200-question test, and then you do like a hands-on part, and um, if everything's up to par and you got your welding certs, then you journey out. Does being part of a union help you? Being a woman in the trades, it's, it's it's hard enough to go out on your own, especially as an iron worker, and think that you're going to get a job and get paid as much as the next guy, where when I'm in the union, I know that they have to treat me fairly. I know that they have to, you know, give me a fair shot just like anybody else, and we're all going to get paid the same. Do you enjoy your job? There's a lot of great rewards. I mean, riding down the freeway and saying, yeah, that building right there, I did that. <laughs> well, that's a pretty good feeling. Can you show us around? The welding, all this banging you hear back here. between a union and a non-union job? I mean, I work, you know, union and non-union. Union job sites are ran better than non-union work sites. You've got better working conditions, you know, you got better working equipment, you know what I'm saying? And, and basically, you got better jobs, you know what I'm saying? 
a non-union, you know, you go to non-union jobs, you know, it's, it's a headache. You got different people, different trades crossing you, you know, and, you know, you don't make decent money, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, when you say union, you know you're going to get the best training, tra training person out there to do the work, you know, and the job's going to get done right when you go to union. Patrick, um, do you have any advice for someone like me, a student still in high school? I encourage my kids to try to get off into sheep, mother, you know, while they're young. You know, you can get off into it when you're 17, 18 years old, start going to school, start off with a little job, you know, and before you know it, you know, you're a journeyman, you know, and 20 years, 25 years later, you can retire when you're 50, you know what I'm saying, with proper benefits, you know. Who are you? I'm the ghost of construction future. Where's the other guy? He's in the union. He can work only eight hours a day. So I'm here to show you where construction can lead you to, so hold on! What do electrical workers do? Right now the members that we employ, the construction workers, are really focused on the new renewable energy economy. Um, so things like solar panels, wind generation, fuel cells, um, we're really looking at developing those kind of technologies. There is all this exciting cutting edge, te edge technology, especially in, in what's being called the green economy. How important is a union to the electrical workers? Whether it's construction or any occupation, it's really important that workers have a say in how their workplaces operate. Um, and in order to have a vibrant, active society, um, it's important that workers have a voice on the job because, let's face it, work is where we spend a great deal of our time. And if we're not thinking about, um, if we're not engaged with our work and if we're not thinking about how our work is connected to the bigger world, then um, it's really hard to go home after work and be an engaged, uh, um, active resident in your neighborhood or your community. Um, so unions are about, they're about social justice, they're about having a voice in how your workplace is shaped. Do you lose your medical insurance between jobs? The nice thing about the union is that because the benefits are through the union, um, you don't lose your health care or your pension when you're between jobs. Does the IBW help people get placed in jobs? In our apprenticeship program, you come, once you come into the program, you're, for the, those five years, you're placed with a contractor and you have to rotate so you learn all the different aspects of the trade. So in that five years, you'll be with at least five different contractors learning different aspects of the trade on the job while you go to school. So it's a great time to look at an alternative to college and that's really what you'll see what the apprenticeship is. It's a five-year scholarship program where you go to work during the day, you get paid, um, and then at night you take your classes and um, you, at the end of the five years, you're, you know, you're having $80,000 a year career and no student loan.